If the number of Waluigi's in the race matches your placement, the video ends. Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back today to another... Wait, I gotta count. Four, five, six... Okay, there's seven Waluigi's in the room. So, today's video, I have to... Pretty self-explanatory. Just... I've done this type of video before. If the placement matches the number, then... I lose. That, that's all it is. Very simple. Ooh, should I take the short? Uh, yeah, we'll take the shortcut actually. Maybe we can get into. No, we're not gonna get into first. But yeah, we we all we gotta do is not get the placement, and we're just gonna go as long as we can. There's no win condition for this video. Only a lose condition. We're just gonna try to last as long as possible. Six races is usually the base goal, but since then we've kind of abandoned those rules. But I don't know. I do so many different styles of challenges now that it's just it's kind of crazy. All right, but we are in first. It looks like taking that shortcut was the right move after all. If this train could, like, come just as I'm getting through. You know, I feel like the, the train has been more consistent in this version than in previous versions of Calamari Desert, which I don't like. You know, I feel like it's more fun when the train is unpredictable and you don't know when it's going to get there, but you know, that's just my opinion. I know I would have had to find something to hate about this track. It took longer than usual, but I found it. I mean, I already kind of hate this. Why are there so many red shows? Why does second place just commonly get red shows? It's unbelievable. All right. All right. Probably should have used that coin. There was two shock dot. Oh, blue show. Just go ahead. <laughs> Perfect timing for me. I don't know where. He, he just driving to the off road or something? Jeez. Okay. How am I in fourth, though? What What is happening right now? All right, we just can't get seventh, though. We can't... Okay, where do those people actually come from? I am actually so confused. I don't know this track. Okay, we actually... We can't get seventh. That's all we got to do is make sure we don't get seventh. Yeah, since there's usually always a lot of Waluigi's in the room, it probably is going to have to be avoiding a low placement. But if it drops to, like, two Waluigi's, you know, we got to not get second. All right, what do we get here? Fifth place? All right, so we are good for the first race. Oh my gosh, we top seven to Waluigi. Oh, that is so funny. All right, it looks to me there's eight Waluigi's in the room now. So we just got to avoid getting eighth place and we'll be good for this race. Yeah, I feel like this will be a pretty easy challenge for the most part. I don't, I mean, you know, I feel like it's mainly going to get hard. I mean, the, the way to ensure that this video goes on forever is I pick a character that's not Waluigi and then I just sit in the back the entire session. Then I could just go for an infinite amount of time, because if I just get last every race, when I'm not Waluigi, that means there'll always, there won't be enough Waluigi's for last place to ever be, you know. Because the only way for last place to end the video is if every single person in the room is Waluigi. But last place is the only placement I can really consistently get 100% of the time, you know. Because even 11th place might, you know, you might not get 11th place once in a while. But yeah, the easy thing about this challenge is that, you know, if we do end up getting ace, we can just drop back. We can just drop back a little bit, and then we're, we're safe. So, it's really only going to be a problem when I just forget that I'm doing a challenge, or lose track of how many Waluigi's are in the room, you know, stuff like that. Or I just stop caring. All, all factors that could contribute to me losing. Not, definitely is not going to go on forever. Because if it was going on forever, I'd still be recording this video rather than, you know, you watching it. Because if, you, if you're watching it, it means it has to have an end. It looks like we're, we're not going to have to worry about getting A, fortunately for us. That guy's a red shell, so I'd be... Okay. But there we go. We got nice third place. Slight improvement from the last race. Uh, I don't know if we're at seven or eight. I couldn't count in time. That's uh, what happens when they all spawn behind me. Because I usually count, I, I was counting the ones in front of me first, and then once the countdown started, I would look behind me and then count the rest. But yeah, it's either seven or eight. I think it's eight still, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, that green shell hits not me. I'm paying very close attention to it. All right, lost track. I'm just going to hit a banana instead. But yeah, we are safe if we get last, because not every person is Waluigi. So if. If there's any doubt, you know, just get last. That's all it is. I mean, you can always count the amount of non-Mario characters too, I guess. And that's also another way to do it. And we know that it's a full room, so. Definitely something to consider. Can we, oh, I was able to, I was trying to race them to the items. It would be nice if I actually got something that's not just mushrooms though, game. Thank you. And, okay. 
All right, we gotta, we gotta calm down. We gotta calm down. It's only three races in. We keep getting worked up already. I still have other videos to record today. So we, we can't, we can't just get ourselves worked up over this. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be the longest video that I'm recording today too, though. So I might, I might, I might legitimately be here a few hours. You know, I always have to prepare just in case. Let's get. See, the part, the thing is, for this type of challenge, you can kind of make it a challenge at a part way through because you can like specifically try to get a specific placement, you know. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Um, I don't know how I want to do this video yet. But right for now, we're trying to avoid... Oh, wait. We're in 8th right now. This is kind of dangerous. I'm just going to try to speed ahead into 7th. All right. We're in 7th. Let's just pray to God that there actually was 8 Waluigi's. Okay, wait. Yes, there was 8 Waluigi's. Okay, so we are safe. All right, I think we're I think we're still at 8. We might be at 7. There might have been one outside my view. I couldn't really tell. Because I was in a really awkward spot starting this race on snow end, you know? So I think it's it's either seven or eight again, but I think it's eight. So we just gotta avoid eighth place. That is the goal for this video. Let's do it, let's do it. We can, we can do this. We can make a really nice long video out of this. This is gonna be a good title, so, you know. Gotta, gotta get make the most out of this video while I can. All right, I wonder if we got him or the invincibility frame saved him. I wish, I wish shells could, awesome. Really, really love that. I don't even know like how, what he was doing on his screen, but. You know, he got me, so I'm sure he's feeling pretty good about himself. Gosh, it's so unsatisfying when I can't collect the coins. All right, all right. Rough start. Rough first lap, but we, we can make a comeback here. So if I could just collect a coin or even a coin, an item box, anything. Come on. All right. We are okay, Toad. Just, just two item boxes. All right. Oh, this is perfect. I'm getting a nice second place combo here. All right, we're just going to chain, though, because I just want mushrooms. I never thought I'd say that. I, 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 wish I knew it. I knew if I held that for more than two seconds, it was going to get stolen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. This is why I always say, like, don't hold items, because then that happens. Like, jeez. You know, it's funny, because literally every time I steal a boo, it always steals a mushroom or a shell, but... I'm always, I'm always in the vulnerability of losing stars or other, even worse items, potentially, when I have a Boo. I wonder if Boo actually can steal any item, or if Boo can only steal a certain number of items. I, I actually don't know. I've never seen it steal, like, a bullet or something. So, I'm not sure. Alright, let's just use this here. I don't know how many places we can get up. Actually, we don't remember. We don't want to get 8th. We gotta remember the theme of the video here. I think we can get higher than 8th, though. Okay, we got six. That should be safe. Wait, one, two, three, four. There's a, okay, there's at least eight. There might be nine again, because I did spawn in an awkward spot. It's unfortunate. All right, whose day am I going to ruin by throwing the screen shell? Whose entire race and therefore entire session am I going to ruin? All right, first, let's hold this out. I always have a common theme of not... Oh, okay. Uh, the one track I do good on, I fall off. I always hate falling off on this track more than any other track. Not just because it's super easy and I used to time trial and be really good at it, but because, actually, that's pretty much the reason. Uh, but yeah, all right, I'm trying to count. Let's see. I, I need to be sure how many Waluigi's are in the room. Three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, are there only seven? I only see, wait. No, I see eight. Okay, I think there's eight again. Yeah, there's just been eight Waluigi's for pretty much this whole session, so... We just gotta... Avoid... Oh my gosh, this Toad! This Toad has been stealing my item boxes this whole match! I'm like... Okay, actually, thank you, so now I can hopefully get this item box. Oh my gosh, this Toad is already getting on my nerves. Why am I falling off? Why am I so bad at this game? Alright, let's just, let's just go, though. We might have to drop back this race. Just to avoid... Because I, if I get 8th, you know, it's over. But I'm in 7th, so... Oh, I didn't realize my gold was up. You know, I'm going to go for 7th. Because uh, 7th should be good. Alright, we're go we got 7th. Uh, let's make sure there's only 8. Alright, let's go. Next race. We're, we're doing pretty well so far. This is a pretty easy idea to go get a long video from. So I'd be kind of disappointed if it ended pretty quickly. But yeah, all right, let's get some first places here. We need, we need some dubs at least before we end this video. So let's, why is everyone so far back? What is happening? Okay, I'm actually curious. Why did, how did they get so far ahead so quick? What just happened? Look at everyone. All right, I have no idea what's happening. I don't know why I have a lead or why everyone's driving super slow, but I guess we don't question it and just take it. I don't know. All right, 
that's okay. I, I like this track, so we're doing all right. Jeez, what is this lead? The Yoshi, <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. All right. I am just so confused. You know, it'd be funny if, if every Waluigi in the room like disconnected or something, like if this was a disconnect thing, then uh, I would actually lose for getting first place here because you know what? If I'm the only Walu Waluigi in the room, I'm still gonna try to get first because I think that is the best way to end this video. That That is gonna be the ultimate goal. Just get first place. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Well, suddenly there's no invincibility frames game. Hello? I know the invincibility frames last like 10 seconds in this game. So don't even try to tell me that there was too much of a gap. No, no, no. Those shells should not have hit. All right. But they did. So I guess we're here. And we're going to lose our amazing random lead by driving in the off-road. All right. This Yoshi. If this Yoshi wasn't here, we'd be doing <laughs> so much better right now. I'm genuinely so curious what happened. Because I feel like I don't deserve this lead or I shouldn't be here. I don't know. Maybe Nintendo does this. Maybe it's just everyone thinks they're in first on their screen. And then, you know, just to make us feel better. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to drop back from that in time. Yoshi's too far back. All right. Let's just make sure we don't drive over the ramp. But yeah, we are, we are starting to lose this lead a little bit, I think. I think... Uh, we might not be good for the for the final stretch here, which which is why I hate distance-based items. Because if you have a lead, it's not gonna matter, you know. Okay, wait, how did I get blooper inked? Was there even a blooper on my screen? I think I just got blooper inked without even a, a blooper being on my screen. That was just okay. But we should be good here. Yeah, third place. All right, baby park. All right, this should be an interesting one. Apparently. <laughs> I always see people drive backwards on this track. This is one of the few tracks I see people drive backwards on. One of the, the other ones are like Ice Ice Outpost, Mario Circuit, and uh, Dry Dry Desert. I, don't know. I know people probably like to bag, you know, because it's fun or whatever. I don't know what I how you bag on Ice Ice Outpost. Like I don't know why that track has a lot of comeback potential more than more so than other tracks because I feel like Ice Ice Outpost is a pretty linear, um, straightforward track. You know, there isn't much going on there. I mean. You know, it, obviously it's the best track of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, that's the whole reason Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold so well. Like, you know, if Mario Kart, if Ice Ice Outpost was in the base game, then certainly Mario Kart 8 and the Wii U would have sold so much better. I'm just kidding. That, that was, it, that, I'm talking about, that would have been Delfino Square, obviously. The track that needs to come back. It, it needs to come it, it has to. It will come back. I, I just, it has to, right? Like, how many tour tracks... Like, you know, I always see, I saw that prediction a while ago, like there'd be 21 tour tracks total predicted coming to Mario Kart 8. And I'm thinking like, how many tracks does tour have? Like, I I've never played tour. I don't pay attention to tour. Does, does, like, does tour have like, I don't even know. Okay, but we gotta, all right, you know what? Maybe we'll just sit back this race. Cause I, I don't think, I think we risk. All right, 11th, we should be, yeah. Cause there's three non Waluigi characters, so. We get 11th. It did not match our placement, so we are definitely safe for that race. All right. The good thing about starting in the back is that you can clearly see how many Waluigi's in the room. So there are eight now. So yeah, just don't get eight. But I think we'll get a top spot because I am pretty decent at 200cc. Although this track does seem to be pretty easy on 200cc, so other people might not have a problem driving it. But we'll just have to see. You know, you can never be too sure about Mario Kart things. All right, let's hold this banana out. I don't like holding items out, but... Because they usually just disappear randomly. That's kind of... There's always lots of reasons, but... It's typically the main reason. Uh, but I, lo I love front running. Because these tracks are genuinely beautiful. Like, Mario Kart 8 is, like, such great eye candy. You know? It, great graphics. So, just driving the tracks normally. It's really cool. I really enjoy it. Even if the art style, you know... Is a little bland. At least it's pretty. See, that time I definitely saw the blooper. And she's the, that was so weird. I just, I don't remember there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. There's multiple red shells. But that one red shell just cut in front of the other red shell. Did you see that? It, like, just, oh, my gosh. It went in front of it. That is so funny. I don't know. But that one red shell was like, step aside. You're not doing anything. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I saw another red shell. That guy's a star in second, though. Oh, my gosh. Can I please get first? I got to get at least one first place this race, right? Like, come on. All right, no boo, no boo, no boo, no boo, no boo, no boo. All right, I can't trick on that ramp for whatever. I've tried to trick all three laps and I couldn't, but hey, there we go. Nice 200cc race, we got a nice first place and a video cannot end on Thwomp Ruins. You guys should know. And we 
Top date. All right, so I will ask this question. Um, if I get higher in VR, if anyone knows anything about Mario Kart 8, for you, you experts out there who know lots about Mario Kart 8, more than you probably should, is if I get to a high enough VR, will 150cc races slowly stop appearing and I'll get like, it'll be like all 200? Cause you know, like after, cause you know, you know, like at this point in VR, I don't get any 100cc races. They used to appear online, but they don't anymore. But, so if I get up to a really high amount, even if it's like 90k VR, whatever, is there any point where it will be 200cc races pretty much almost every single time? Or maybe every single time? Or is that just like a always, or is 150cc kind of the, kind of the most? I don't know. All right. I actually don't know how many Waluigi's are in this room. I don't know if it's seven or eight. I see four non Waluigi characters, which means at min maximum there can only be eight. So, uh, I'm not sure if there are eight. It looks like there's eight. All right, and there's also way too many bloopers. Also, why does it feel like I'm playing 50cc right now? I don't know. It feels like I'm playing way slower than usual. All right. Ooh, that banana could have been bad. All right, all right. I don't know how first and second got so far ahead. I don't know what... This session, it just feels like... Or maybe I am going slower than everyone else. Maybe they're just messing with it. Maybe that's how I got such a lead on Cheese Land. They're just giving people faster speeds, giving us turns, letting us take turns in winning, you know? Right. Oh, a lot of mushrooms on the ground. Okay, that one probably was not good going for. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even get back on track. Why is there even a ramp there? I've never seen that. I don't even pay attention to that. Okay, that was probably the worst time green show. Not, it couldn't even take the shortcut. Everything's going downhill. Oh my gosh. At least I didn't get bumped off there. Jesus, chaos. All right, see if we can. Oh my gosh, that red shell. I, it's so funny to watch red shell sometimes. Well, watch this, watch this. Wait, they don't go off the glider ramp? I've thrown them off the glider ramp before and they literally flew. Maybe that's only in cannons. All right. All right, now I'm just disappointed. I don't know what's going on. I can't get eighth though, so we gotta. Hi. Okay. You know, I think we're good. All right. Yeah, tenth. There we go. We didn't even need to slow down. We would have gotten ninth. There we go. All right. Let's go. I don't know how many. Wait. Can I count? Yeah. The number of Waluigi's in this room has not been changing at all. Like it just has not been. I'm really surprised because it really seems like the same people have basically been staying this whole session, which is. I don't know. I mean, 8th place is a pretty easy placement to avoid, so, you know, it's not really that much of a problem. I mean, I guess 1st place is a lot easier to avoid than 8th place. You know, I've, I've been avoiding 1st place practically, practically this whole session, except for that Thwomp Ruins race, because obviously, the video would never end on Thwomp Ruins, so I was going to give them the utmost advantage, and just not because it was 200cc or anything like that. Man, I wonder if there's actually people who unironically, like, oh no, that was clutch, alright. But I wonder if there's people that unironically, like, look through gliders for the best stats and pick a glider based on stats. Like, I wonder if that's a thing people do. That just seems outrageous to me that you would care that much. But, you know, you never know. I mean, the vehicle combo I picked is, is kind of for meta purposes, but not the glider. Because I'm like, who cares? Alright, that was unfortunate. It would, you know, it would have been nice if you guys could, like, throw your red shells at first rather than holding them back and, you know, hitting me in third when, you know, first place just keeps getting further and further ahead, but... Like, watch, I'll get some red shells, but, like, I won't be able to use them because I'm gonna have to use them on defense. And yet, that's how first place gets ahead. And that's why I'm... And, you know, that's why... And since first place has such an easy time, that's why they created an item specifically to target first. But now, since the, there is no item like that anymore, then it, um, that's why first place is such an easier time in this game. It sucks. It's kind of, it kind of sucks that the blue shell hits everyone. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is. I mean, well, I'm, I'm very curious to see if they do make a Mario Kart 9, how they'll change it, like, what they'll do, you know, what, what features they'll keep, if they'll go back on anything. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I'm just hoping they t tone down the items a little bit, if they do. Alright, that bomb, I don't know where that bomb went. Alright, but fourth, yeah, we're safe with fourth. Moving on. Alright, you know, I really love this track. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart 8 now, Martian Gorge. I don't know, because I can actually do the gap cut. 
which is something I could never do in Mario Kart Wii. And then it makes me feel good about myself because, you know, it's like it's something that I can do. So I want to try to do it, obviously. I wish I could pick this track more. It's one of the reasons I really wish. They would at least increase the amount of tracks you could pick online. You know, even if you can't pick between all of them, at least up it from three to nine. Because remember, the three track system was implemented when there was only 32 tracks in the game. Okay, we failed that. But now we're going to have 96, literally triple that. And it's still going to be at three? Like, come on. We, we got to up it. Up it, Nintendo. We got, we got come on. Uh, but that's, I've ranted about that before. I wish they would, just so I could, like, you know, pick tracks I wanted more often. Because, you know, there's tracks that I will go weeks, literally weeks, without seeing even appear in the voting screen. Because... There's just so many. And, that, and there's only 50-something now, you know? What, what's it going to be when there's 96? All right, blue shell, nice. Let's see if we can get this person. And throw another one. Blue shell's going for that guy. Oh, I think he... Oh, no, he, he got hit by it. Okay. Throw that bomb. Oh, no. All right, Yoshi. He can take that then. Yeah, fly. I love <laughs> the red shell. It's so funny to watch the red shell. It kind of... It just fly. A golden mushroom in second? Are you kidding me? Or you cannot ever look at me and tell me that with a straight face that Mario Kart item <laughs> balances. No, I knew that was going to happen too. I was hoping it was going to be the boo, but it was the shock instead. Which means we can't, you can't even take the gap cut, unfortunately. Oh, we, well, we got them after the line, if that counts for anything, but... Yeah, you know, I keep waiting for the number of Waluigi in the room to shrink so that I can have the... Oh my gosh, look at the... I never noticed the... There's like a, a city underneath this track. Oh, that's so cool. I never noticed that. <laughs> I probably should have. I knew there was something under there. I didn't know, but I saw like moving vehicles. I don't know. I feel like I've never seen that before. Man, that's so cool. Why can't we drive down there? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Maybe in the next iteration of this track, they'll make it so there's a lab where you drive in that little city. I mean, honestly, might as well at this point. The tracks are already completely different than the original N64 version. Yeah, yeah, like, you guys, you know, people always say the old N64 Rainbow Road was much too long. But I'm like, I'm not saying though, have you guys ever actually played through an entire race of N64 Rainbow Road? Have you ever truly embraced yourself, engulfed yourself in that experience? That track, it was so, it like instantly became my favorite track ever when I played that track for the first time. It was so, it was so beautiful. Like there's just something about it, how amazing it is, you know? I feel like people just don't understand why. But yeah. I just thought it was really cool. It would just be cool if there was also just some more customization in general, you know, for playing tracks. Like, why can't I at least set it to th play three laps, like, offline, you know? Why can't I change the number of laps? You know? Or just make this a two lap track. Even if you just make this a two lap track, you know? Ooh, person in front of me leaving. Oh, looks like the Waluigi's actually did shrink in the fir in the room for the first time in a while here. All right, that's it. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Um, I think there's. I can't. I can't count. We're gonna. We're gonna have to look later in the race when there is, when the pack is more spread out. So. Oh my gosh! I just, someone just set off a chain event of me hitting someone after I got hit. All right, that's cool. If I could just get, like, a coin or a box, that would be kind of nice, you know? I mean, take your time. No pressure, obviously, but, you know, just just anything. Anything. Can I get anything at this point. All right. Man, this is why this is why I can't do anything. Okay. Let's get some coins. See, yeah, coin. I feel like people underestimate how important coins are in this game. Like, I don't know, because here's the thing. I don't look up tutorials on how to play this game. I don't look up things you should do in this game. I just kind of do it all from experience, like personal experience, you know? Like first place has an easy time front running. I didn't learn that from anywhere. I just figured that out. Or, you know, I didn't figure out that, you know, you should collect coins as much as possible in Mario Kart. I just kind of figured that out. You know, with how broken the item system is, coins are really the only difference maker because since the items make up any kind of, uh, any kind of mistake that you make, you know? All right, I wish I could switch the slots of these items. I don't want to just not be have any defense, so. Yeah, let's just do this. If first place, if a blue shell comes and first place drops back, I will, I can use the mushroom to dodge. So that's going to be kind of my thing. You know, if I just, if I throw this shell, actually we can just 
Why did it throw it backwards? Oh my gosh. I tried to throw it forwards and it threw it backwards. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, uh, why, do, why do I ever try to do anything? All right, let's just throw that. Probably should, gonna regret that, but... All right. Third place? Yeah, we're, we're safe with third. There's, I think there might be five Waluigi's in the room. But yeah, there we go. Third place, not bad. All right. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think there's another six. I think it's still six Waluigi's in the room. So let's just avoid six. All right. Not a great start to the race here, but at least Yoshi's getting hit with me. You know, I was gonna say we should try to like top six or something, but we've already like topped eight as Waluigi's in the session. I feel like there's not really even a goal anymore. You know, we're just driving around. Just, well, I guess, I mean, I, I guess that happens in every Mario Kart video. We're always driving around, but you know, I feel like there's nothing to go for. It's just something to avoid, which is why I guess I kind of abandoned this style of videos, but still like to do it sometimes when there's a good idea, you know. Yeah, the, the if the video ends style, kind of. I've I've been drift. I've been I've wanted to drift away from that style for years. You know, pretty much since a few months after I started. I only wanted to do like ten or ten videos at first. That was kind of my idea, and then I would like hop into other forms of content again. But it just got so popular that I kept doing it, and then um, you know I, I kept wanting to drift away, and I, I did. I always made some. I tried to make other styles of videos. I always did, but then I always kind of found myself going back to it. But I feel like now I've actually been pretty successful in completely finding a new, you know, doing challenges that completely abandon that format entirely and not doing it as much. I found myself going weeks at a time without doing it, so I've been pretty proud of that. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. But I have been doing a few of them recently, so maybe maybe it is creeping back again. But I mean, if I, if I get good ideas, then I'll do it, you know? As long as I don't overdo it, I think I'm fine with it. I mean, we might not even get a high enough placement to even worry, have to worry about the video ending here. I see there's at least four non-Mario, which means there can only be eight. There might be five. I can't really see. I'm not... I, everything's happening so fast. All right. This is probably, like, the placement we didn't want to be in, though. I said sixth was bad, so... All right, yeah. So, we'll fall off on purpose here. Just, yeah. So, everyone can pass me. And, yeah. There we go. Ninth. We should be safe. All right. Moving on to... I, see, I always get frustrated because I can never trick on that ramp. I always want to trick and then I never get to do it. I don't know if... I don't know if you can't or if... Oh my gosh, what is happening? That rail is so annoying because... I don't know, like, I guess you can go through it, but it's just... It's such an annoying place. Like, you seem like you shouldn't and even if you could hit it, you know, I just... It would be really obnoxious, so I don't... I don't really know. Alright, I'm just gonna waste this. There's not... Really a point in me holding on to that. I think we hit some with the Super Horn too, which is even better. Man, I'm get, I've, you know, I've actually been getting a lot of Super Horns today. I have been noticing. And I guess Boo is too. I've been seeing a lot of Boos, so, you know, I guess I guess it was only a matter of time. Alright, I want to trick here. Okay, that was just even worse. Yeah, I don't know if you can trick on that ramp. I don't know. I feel like I never have, but I don't know. I don't really think about tricking much. It's just sort of a natural thing. Cool. You know, and the second I think about it, I mess up from it. But, you know, a lot of people are saying... Well, not a lot. I've heard some people say, I'll, I'll be more accurate. I've heard some people say that this soundtrack is really bad, but, and although that may be true, guys, remember, um, Sydney Sprint is in the game, all right? Just remember that. The most unmemorable, I cannot even think about what the soundtrack is for that game. Like, I might recognize it if I hear it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's Sunday's least memorable soundtrack in the whole game. The tour tracks all do, pretty much. Ninja Hideaway is the exception. So, yeah. Okay. Actually, can we get first here? Well, this guy... Alright, well, I'd like to... Th Did he fall off? Ooh, I don't know what just happened. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, boo. That was not a good time, man. Alright. But we're okay. Third place. We will take that. Alright, let's go. Not, you know, this session's been going on a pretty long time, and I expected that. I, you know, I was expecting a very long video. That's why I did this one first. You know, I wanted to relax, play some nice Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch, like one does, you know? And I'm very curious to see. I might do a video. I don't know. I've been thinking about this. How I want to see, like, if I play for a certain amount of races. I'd have to play for a lot of races. I just want to see who would stay the longest. See if I could play until someone stays, like, a certain number of races with me. That was kind of an idea I... I vaguely thought of. I don't know if I would do that. Seems kind of boring. 
Um, but I don't know. I thought I thought something like that could be cool. Just seeing how long people will stay in the room. I mean, I've kind of done videos like that with the last to leave video where I played until uh, I was the only one left in the room. Because obviously you're going to keep, be keeping track of how long people stay. But, jeez, can I catch a break here? Yeah. Um, yeah, just doing, but taking that, oh my gosh. Just doing more with that idea. Concepts, basically. Jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm having a rough time here on TikTok Clock, guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, no, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The bullet, okay, first off, the bullet could have kept going, but it purposely slowed down right behind a guy with triple green shells, and then I get bitten off and thrown off the ramp again. Make it more obvious. Oh yeah, I do get warnings. I'll get warnings from a blue shell when I'm in nine, in a bullet. Ooh, yes, shock dodge, let's go, okay. Jeez, I love it when nothing, no, are you kidding me? Why? How did they even have a red shell? The, there was a shock. How did anyone have a red shell? Bro, that just ruined my whole day. I, I, it went from being so good to so bad. Or it went from being so bad to so good to so bad again. Oh, I messed up my startup boost. Oh, I, I, just, I got a little one still. All right, that's all right. Oh, ew, I've never played this track on Mirror. I guess there's a first time for everything. I wonder if there's a track I've never played on Mirror on this channel. I don't know. Because it appears somewhat infrequently, but it's appeared enough. Like, I I'm curious to see which tracks I haven't played on Mirror. I'm pretty sure most of the DLC tracks I have, at least in the second wave. But I don't know if I'm... I'm not, I'm not even going to bother thinking about that. Who cares? All right, nobody cares. Oh, I thought Junior was like, got scared. Oh, and he got hit with the shell because he didn't have any defense because he tried to throw it back at me. See, that's why I never get rid of my items. But, all right, I might cycle. I might cycle here, though, because having a single green shell in fourth is not usually good. But we didn't have to get rid of it, and now we're in second. Now we have triple mushrooms. Jeez, this game is so broken. All right, good thing we didn't get rid of that. I did not want to lose these triple mushrooms. Oh, these penguins. Why? Why Did he just fly away? Did you see that? He just, like, leaped up in the air and just disappeared. That's actually kind of cool. Props to these penguins. Why is he in a star for so long? In third place. All right, just for that. Here you go. Did we get him? All right, sweet. I mean, he did try to hit me with the bomb earlier, too, so I already have personal beef. Why are people using these bullets up in third place? How are people getting here? Oh, my gosh. This is insane. I need some better items here. Everyone else is getting really good items. Wait a second, I got two items there. Why'd you give me one? And people are getting stars around me and I'm getting a ba single banana. Nah, this is not okay. I'm getting cheated here. And I can't, I can't even get a box. All right, well this race has gone completely down the drain. The pack is super close. I'm not getting anything. I don't know what I'm gonna get here. Let's just power run it. If we lose, we lose here. We're not going to lose. We're too low. Oh, man. We're really picking this track here, but still not picking Waluigi Pinball, huh? I'm just kidding. This track was picked randomly. I don't know why people, st I don't know why people still pick random, but I wonder what percentage of the time random gets picked out of, like, you know, in accordance to one of the three tracks. It's very interesting to me, actually, because... You know, uh, being picked random. Oh my gosh, I cannot think right now. People probably p wouldn't pick random as much if people if people could actually pick tracks they wanted. So you know, people probably don't. Um, that's probably why people don't pick random. But yeah, I mean, I pick. I've never picked random in Mario Kart Wii like ever. I I always had a track that I wanted to play. And but yeah. Now, now I think random sometimes when the when the choices are between like Point Ruins, Mario Circuit, and Dragon Driftway, I'll take my chances with the randomizer. One thing I really wish though is that um they would stop giving so much time to pick tracks since there's only three choices, and people it doesn't matter how long you make it, there's always going to be someone that waits till the very end. No, I was I was pressing the button. Oh my gosh, I was pressing the button every time. Like, that's one of that's the least satisfying feeling in the game. When you 
try when you're using a star and it's still you still get shot before you use it the literal worst feeling in the game oh i cannot express how bad that feels oh my gosh the, the next worst feeling is getting back reamed in last place when you're bloopered i don't know something about that okay we're just gonna use the star i cannot take losing another one oh my gosh it, it really feels bad man all right, let's uh, use this because again, no, don't never want to save items in Mario Kart. There's a big mistake. All right, but we can get a good placement here, I think. We might be able to get up to third if we're good enough. All right, maybe not because this Yoshi decided to be a little thing. All right, we got fourth place. What do we do here? Wait a minute, there's only four Waluigi's in the room.